During the pandemic, many Malaysians were trapped in Singapore, unable to travel back home as they please. Thus, who are stuck in Singapore took the opportunity to do something good for society, spending their time wisely despite their situation. Here's more. The Malaysian government had a strict border control, thus Malaysian national Gaminda was unable to return home during the weekend like he usually does. But he sees those days to do something good, not wasting any moments of life. During the pandemic heights, I was in Singapore. There are four weekends in a month. I saw on the news about how some disadvantaged children in Singapore could not continue their education due to not having the means for online learning. So I went to ask the community charity teams to find out which students needed help with tutoring or just simply companionship. Then I matched either volunteer or Qing with each student. And that's how our study help came to be. Gan joined Si Ching's in 2014. The next year, he went to Singapore for his studies and also enrolled as a volunteer in Singapore. He is currently the liaison person for the Singapore Si Ching in charge of planning and organizing activities. Due to the pandemic, the youth realize where they can put their efforts into good use. This not only brings about happiness from within, but they have also felt spiritually fulfilled during that three to six month time. Meanwhile, Yi Shu Hua, who is also a Malaysian but owns a hair salon business in Singapore, was unable to return home to her family for 465 days. Despite being away from family, she continued to spread kindness and inspire donating members. I can talk to my customers each day about Ziji, and they're also very willing to listen. They understand that I'm doing charity, and also because of the pandemic, they're very willing to donate funds to help the elderly with food or supply medical equipment. When she finally returned to her hometown of Johor Bahru, she not only made time for family, but also for the senior home events. The virus is still very impactful right now, so there are many things we're unable to carry out. I wanted to seize the opportunity to promote vegetarianism because it's one of the things I can do. This time we're doing a vegetarian event at the senior home in Johor Bahru. This is one of the reasons I came by to help organize and work with the volunteers here. During COVID times, many things have been restricted, but no matter where they are, Tsuji volunteers continue to find ways to give back to society, making their own cultivation ground wherever they go.